everyone hello everyone <laughs> happiness is not a matter of events it depends upon the tides of the mind truly said waves of thoughts rise in our minds just like waves of water rises and falls when tide comes how natural it seems but behind this many forces act what are these forces when does this occur does it affect our lives if you want to know the answers to all these questions then you must watch the full video when tide comes water level rises but after a time it falls back and this rhythmic rise and fall of ocean water twice in a day is called a tide it is high tide when water covers much of the shores by rising to its highest level it is low tide when water falls to its lowest level and recedes from the shores any idea what are the causes for the occurrence of tides let me tell you the strong gravitational pull exerted by the sun and the moon on the earth's surface causes the tides actually tides follow the apparent movement of the moon due to its closeness to the earth do you know there are two types of tides high tide and low tide the rise in water level is called high tide while the fall in water level is called low tide it should be noted that tides do not rise at the same height every day but why because of the changes in the position of the moon and the sun with respect to the earth which is responsible for the variation in the height of tides there are two extreme positions on full moon and new moon day the sun the moon and the earth are almost in a straight line the sun and the moon exert a combined gravitational pull thus high tides are the highest and low tides are the lowest this phenomenon is known as spring tide on half moon day the sun and the moon make a right angle to the earth thus the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon tends to cancel each other this results in a very small rise and fall in sea water and is known as neap tide hope this is clear to you now let us know importance of tides first high tides help in navigation they raise the water level close to the shores this helps the ship to arrive the harbor more easily second the high tides also help in fishing many more fish come closer to the shores during the high tide this enables fishermen to get a plentiful catch third the rise and fall of water due to tides is being used to generate electricity in some places hope you got all the points so children let us end today's class here do like and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more interesting videos Thank you everyone